So this here is the Gitzo 2180 tripod head. The counterbalance mechanism we're talking about is just this little button here. By pushing the head forward, I can turn the counterbalance mechanism on. As you can see, it spring loads the head to want to tip the tripod head forward, acting as a counterbalance for when your spotting scope is on. So you can see I have the scope on here, and all of a sudden, all the balance is tipping forward. Okay? And so what I can do is I can mount my camera, and you can see even when I tighten it down a little bit, it still wants to spring forward on me. I can attach my camera, the digital camera adapter here, and what it does is it helps mitigate the pressure of putting the camera back. If I loosen this head altogether, it still will want to drop back a little bit, and that's just the nature of the beast by having that much weight that high up and back on there. However, it allows me to tighten it just a little bit and have it stay balanced. If I were to take the counterbalance off by turning that knob, you can see it wants to tip backwards again. Once again, just by putting it on, it balances it out. So that's how the counterbalance works. Once again, pulls forward. This head right here is the bird watching head. It's got one control to control the up and down, left and right, whereas the 2180 has two controls. That controls your up and down. Or, I'm sorry, left to right, and that controls your up and down. This head locks in place better. By tightening this, it really locks it a bit more positively than a 2180 head. So as far as a head that locks better, this one does it. You can see here, I have the Gitzo plate on the Swarovski sliding balance rail, so I can put that in there. And as an alternative to the counterbalance, I have this balance rail here where I can open that lever and slide that out and then once again mount my camera right, so on the here camera to balance that. on the scope with the sliding balance rail. Okay, so I can slide it back and you can see it wants to tip back. Slide it forward and it balances. So this certainly is a solution that fixes this really quite well, this balance rail solution. Um, if you don't want to go with the balance rail, the 2180 head can accommodate it to some extent, although without tightening it, it'll still tip back a little bit. Whereas this head is fully loose right now and still perfectly balanced just because of the balance rail. And of course you can use the balance rail on both heads. Once again, it has the same quick release plate on the bottom.